Hi, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to do another subscriber base review part 7 and so let's get down to it Okay, the first village is by Put Best Ball 24 and the in-game name is Bob Okay, so for this particular base you can see that this uh, I, I would say a trophy base because um, the town hall is in the middle of the base and it's actually surrounded by all the resource and he actually sacrificed the resource for uh, trophies like for example the elixir storage and the gold storage is exposed um, exposing storages is only critical for people who are in trophy uh, base uh, like trying to push for more trophies uh, so that you actually expose the resources and you protect your town hall but in this particular case uh, I feel that it's a little bit tough for this particular person to upgrade the base in the long term because of the exposing of the storages well personally i don't feel a trophy base should be implemented at uh, such an early stage a uh, trophy push should be only utilized when you have maxed out everything uh, for example all your towers all your walls and all your defense uh, all your resources has been maxed out and uh, you have nothing else to do but to push for trophies then you do a trophy push even though if you have this uh, X bow um, your, re your defenses are low uh, by going up in trophy levels you might get attacked by very high level players and get wiped out multiple times making, you, making this uh, particular base very hard to uh, accumulate your resources if i were you i would try to go for a farming base with an exposed town hall so you not get multiple attack uh, you know per offline uh, you know the first few attacks they might you know give you some trophies because you won the attack uh, by the enemy uh, but subsequent uh, attack you might get uh, wiped out because your expo will run out of ammo and uh, your your reinforcement troops as well is going to run off reinforcement troops for the third or fourth attack after that um, you know you'll be completely wiped out by high level players because your trophies has went up significantly for the first few battles and you'll be wiped out on the last few battles with a very high level players and another thing is uh, your Gold mines is very uh, concentrated on the top side. For example, if you are going for, um, you know, a vacation that you do not have a chance to go back to uh, collect your gold mines resource, uh, this is the part where the enemy will actually attack very frequently to uh, lazy farm your gold mine, and subsequently attack uh, the bottom as well. And your air defense. Uh, is relatively exposed at the bottom the top is still alright the second layer is still be able to defend itself mm. if you can focus on the the archers is in a very weird uh, position is focused on the sides but it's not so much on the top side so on the top side there's not much of a towers to defend the top so if your enemy attack from the top, there is almost like no defense at all except for the two heroes, the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. Okay, next village. Okay, for this particular village, uh, it's actually by Kant, Kant K-H-A-N-H -H, and the in-game name is Kant Nguyen. Okay, from here I can see this is a farming base which is good, you get free 12 hour shield per attack. Uh, per offline this base seems to be very common uh, I, I've seen this a lot uh, of times in uh, I think this is a town hall 7 base I believe this is a good base because of the balancing of the towers you can see very clearly the cannons in, in a very perfect uh, pentagon shape the arches is uh, in a very nice the arches is uh, not five arches, so it's four arches. It's almost like a square base, but the cannon is very, very perfect. The mortar is in a triangle formation, which is all right. In the center, elixir collector, go my elixir collector, go my elixir collector, go my, go my elixir collector, go my elixir collector. 
you can see that this is taken from the previous advice is to intersect a non-resource in between a goal and a elixir storage this way in any direction uh, the goblins will have to run a longer distance in order to get all the uh, elixir collector or gold mine making it a uh, very hard for uh, lazy farmers lazy farmers basically attack you when you have not collected your resources from the gold mine or elixir collector for a long period of time and most of your resource is in there so if they are not very protected at least uh, make the goblin run a longer distance uh, this is a very very nice design base for town hall 7 uh, I, I really like this design so guys if you are at town hall 7 use this design uh, as much as possible because it's very balanced um, it cover all direction equally and uh, it's very hard for the enemy to focus uh, a single direction to attack uh, in in this particular base so this is a very nice uh, base to follow for Town Hall 7. Okay, so for this particular base is by Goodju. Goodju is a uh, in-game name is Goodju. Um, the email is War Tech. Uh, this is a farming base with a Town Hall on the outside. Not sure why you put all the air seeking bomb on the Town Hall, but uh, I believe it's better suited uh, if you put like one in each direction of the base so that you can prevent the uh, mass air attack or healers attack or minions attack uh, immediately i can see uh, a single floor which is your mortar is too close to the edge of the base making it very vulnerable for um, you know uh, wizards or archers attack uh, with a little bit of distraction of maybe pekka or giants and a few uh, uh, what they call it, the uh, wizards. You can take out the uh, this uh, mortar very easily. Uh, one thing about mortar is when you select on it, uh, you know, there's a red ring around the mortar. That is the range where the mortar cannot attack. Meaning, if you have uh, a chance with a giant, single giant, to uh, get close to a mortar in that uh, ring area, the mortar will not be able to defend itself. So if you put the mortar too close to the edge a couple of giants with a wall breakers and after that uh, the mortar will, uh, will be defenseless against the uh, one or two giants right beside it even without the wizards attack attacking it uh, the mortar will be destroyed very easily the same goes to here as well so this tool is the lifeline that uh, will prove to be very deadly so once this two mortar is taken out uh, you are basically uh, defending on uh, only a single mortar for uh, splash damage is very very dangerous situation you can be overwhelmed by um, your mass archers barbarians and wizards uh, i find is the balancing of the archers again is not very balanced uh, majority of the archers is at the bottom right side so the the idea of balancing is to make it uh, you know equal distance from each other if you got three towers is triangular four towers square five towers pentagon six towers is hexagon and you can you know defend every single direction very equally the cannon is relatively pentagon shaped but with a little gap over the top left top right and at the top the left bottom left it's not very balanced so cannon is good against giants so if you are very focusing on the bottom right side what happens if they attack on the top left side and get rid of your cannons by wizards and uh, basically you are defenseless against the giants uh, on the left side and the top side and the top right side then your cannon will not be able to defend uh, that particular point especially uh, for not just giant maybe uh, pekka or heroes your cannons are very strong against that as well so uh, unbalanced kind of design will make it very hard for you to defend the, to the top part of the base uh, good use of spring traps is not I mean currently it's not really good use because uh, the wall breakers are attracted to buildings not uh, empty space uh, buildings within the wall so in this case uh, I don't think anyone will break the walls uh, that is a uh, there's no building within the uh, the walls so the spring trap is basically ignored very easily in this uh, point of time if you put it 
or in the walls so try to put it in uh, in the intersection of um you know of a walls so that you got one towers and one resource in between the walls uh the spring trap will be able to attract both giants uh pekka and of course uh you know goblins and of course uh majority of other kind of enemy uh troops uh the same goes to the bombs the bombs is uh, not very good if you put not not within a certain pathway but at a, a secluded area surrounded by walls it will not be able to attract any wall breakers to break through and there will not be any uh, troops going into that i may be wrong but please do make a uh, view your replays and see if the enemy actually goes to that direction uh through the spring trap and the bombs at the top side if not um uh, it'll be totally waste of your traps well basically that's it for this uh, uh subscriber based review and i really hope you like this video and of course do comment in the comment section below what you like and what you do not like about this video all feedbacks are appreciated and of course do remember to share this video to people who need it especially the town hall 7 that i mentioned is very nice you can actually follow that and of course uh, do subscribe to this channel right so thank you very much for watching simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews thank you very much